750,000 coins is what this card will take you or set you back to complete Zhao Felix. Now, if this card gets upgraded, he is going to be insane. And I'll show you guys his upgraded stats shortly. But the issue is Barcelona away to Atletico. I believe are five or six points ahead of him in the La Liga. Barca being third, Atletico being fourth. Atletico are without Griezmann as well. It's such a hard game to predict, all right? It is an incredibly hard game to predict. Barcelona away from home. Who knows, man? So it's a big gamble. But if this card gets the upgrade, oh my. If this card gets the upgrade and you still have the showdown evolution where you can give him a further plus one, so a plus three, then this is what his stats will look like in game. This is a two million coin card on the market in my opinion. If they release this Xiao Felix with these stats as a promo card, that's at least two million coins. But once again, it's the risk. The risk, of course, being Barcelona aren't guaranteed to win. You might have already used your showdown evolution as well, but still, even if he's 91 rated, that card is at least a million on the market. And speaking of coins, if you guys want cheap fast and reliable coins make sure to head on over to mmoexp.com use code davis at checkout for five percent off coins are very cheap right now it is about forty dollars for one million coins so make sure you hop on there here we go boys Zhao felix is in the lineup five star four star five eleven with high medium work rates his pace i don't know why the attributes are a glitch or they actually just they might have just changed how it looks now Oh, interesting. Uh, 92 pace, but we have gone for a Hawk Kim style, so he'll go to 96 pace in game. His 89 shooting as well will go up to 92 or 93. Uh, he goes from 88 to 92 finishing, 90 to 98 shot power. I think Hawk definitely makes the most sense. His passing is great for a striker or a cam if you want to use him as a cam. He can play as a left wing, left mid, center forward, or a striker. Um, but if you wanted to play him as a central cam in game, then he's got the passing to do that. His dribbling is fantastic. In fact, his dribbling looks amazing physical wise nothing great but you know it's solid for someone of his frame five foot eleven and i'm pretty sure he's got a lean body type um but the main reason i really wanted to do Xiao felix is not only does he look insane if he gets the upgrade but also if you guys played fifa i think it was two years ago now he had a player of a month card and that Xiao felix player of a month made me love the game he was genuinely like it was just so fun to use when it comes to playstyle pluses i'm disappointed they gave him a chip shot playstyle plus this is where you could debate de debate that memphis to is actually the better option if atletico go on to get the win because he's got well obviously if they go on to get the win he'll be the better option but in terms of the cards right now sorry you could debate that the pie is a better option because he's got better play style pluses i think the pie's got a finesse play style plus Xiao felix technical is amazing he's got the normal finesse but chip shot play play style pluses mid mate it is very mid we will be using him as a striker up top in a 4-2-3-1 as a stay forward let's try him out as the main man and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I've got really high expectations. I know there's been lots of, let's just say, hate for this SBC. Lots of people disliking this SBC so far, saying it's overpriced. And I don't think it's overpriced. I think it's expensive and it's risky. But I think people are confusing overpriced and expensive. You're paying a lot of coins for a card that's not guaranteed an upgrade. But if he gets the upgrade, he's, a, he's worth at least, you know, he'd be at least one and a half two million if he were to be a card on the market so in that sense he's not overpriced in my opinion he's just expensive and same goes for the pie as well Xiao felix's first touch may i just miss this card this is my first time using Xiao felix this year and it just gives me great memories the five star skills the body type he's like lean but also relatively tall being five foot eleven and Xiao felix could have had an assist for you to start Bro, he feels agile man i mean as you'd expect of course the five star skills the body type i actually want to check what his body type is but it feels like i'd have to guess and just say it's a lean but once he's 5 11 he's relatively tall in the first place i love the mixture of 5 11 lean body type i don't know what it is but it's it's perfect go on go on his technical you get tackled now Felix to run out Dino. That's beautiful. Dino, you have to score that. That's an assist for Jao Felix. That should have been his assist he, he should have gotten when we first started. I think it was Sophia Smith that had a very easy shot saved. Oh, beautiful. He timed that run amazing. Great ball from Mbappe. Got to try the left stick dribbling. We kind of get tackled, but we're good. We still have it. Mbappe. That's amazing. Jao Felix, is he bringing the keeper out? 
He is. We go for that chip. Okay. That's where the chip shot. Maybe, maybe I, I treated that chip shot playstyle plus a little bit too harshly. But in general, the playstyle plus, you're not really in lots of positions like that where, where your opponent does rush the keeper out. But when they do rush the keeper out, as soon as I realized the chip was available, as soon as I realized what his playstyle plus was, we went for it. So, hey, maybe I did, you know, I called it mid in the intro, didn't I? But that's a beautiful finish from Xiao Felix. He timed that run perfectly. Oh, mate, that, that is so poor. I wanted to pass from Mbappe to Felix there, but instead it locked on to Hullet. I hate it when it does that. It's jammy, I don't care. It was going to be an incredibly well-worked goal anyway. We got a little bit of a luck on our side as my opponent's tackle fell right back to me. But that is beautiful. The dribbling, the skill moves, it feels silky. In fact, that is the best way I can describe this card is silky. That's two goals and one assist for Zhao Felix. He is honestly fun to use. He is very, very fun. Trigger that run. Beautiful. Flip flap. He's going to go flip flap into the finish there. He, my, my opponent's familiar with my game. I'm going to play that out. Oh, oh my. Oh my. As I said, he, he could easily play that cam role or a deeper role. Easily, man. One more touch. Mbappe. Mbappe threw it for us. But that is beautiful from Chao Felix, man. The technical, it's hard to tackle. It's hard for your opponent to predict because obviously a controlled dribble, a normal controlled dribble is always hard to tackle, let alone a controlled sprint play style plus. Um, so it's, it makes it hard to get tackled and just ping that pass down. I'm not actually sure if he's got any like through ball play styles, but it definitely felt like it. I wasn't paying attention. We'll have to double check that, but it felt like he had like a precise pass or incisive, whatever the through ball play style is, just the, the regular one. Into Shao. He's got the technical. We hit the post. <laughs> That's just unlucky. When you hit the post, can you really blame him? That's just unlucky, right? We've done everything correct, but the finish was inches off. And ladies and gentlemen, that is game a free two win. And Jao Felix, two goals and an assist. Look, this card was insane. 730k. And that's obviously assuming that you do not have any fodder in your club already. I'm sure some of you guys have fodder in your club. I'm very happy with a Hawk Chem style. That seems what the majority is going with as well. Where's the Hawk Chem style here? Hawk Chemistry style. In-game, 96 pace, 94 shooting, giving him a physical boost as well. And I mean, when his 89 rated card looks like this, as I said, if Barcelona get the win, he's a 91 rated. He'd be at least 1.3, 1 1.5 million on the market. If you've still got that showdown evolution and he and Barcelona were to win, then that's making him a 93 rated or a 92 rated card, sorry, which I just think it's insane. And I know there's a risk. You're paying for a risk, and that's the issue. I think 500 to 600k would have been more fair just because of a risk factor, but people once again are getting expensive and overpriced mixed up. You are gambling, you're taking a gamble, you're taking a punt on if Barcelona can get the win, but if Barcelona can get the win, even if they get a draw and he gets a plus one and you still have a showdown, then you can still get him up to a 91 rated, right? If you've already used your showdown evolution on a kanji or something like that, um, then obviously that's a little bit unfortunate if you are looking at the Xiao Felix. And now, worst case scenario, obviously, if Atletico go on to win, that's the risk you have to take because... I could just sit here and say, you know, the most obvious thing, if Atletico win, then it's not going to be worth it. But if Barca draw or win, then yes, this SBC is worth it. So you can't really, I can't predict the future. But I will say it's worth the risk, in my opinion, because you will have a team at a season level card if Barcelona managed to do it. It's been your boy Davis, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.